It was a, a uh, fairly straightforward uh, regent meeting with a, a concise agenda, which is uh, pretty typical for a, a January one-day meeting. The board did approve a, a number of items. Uh, I'll tick through them in order. Uh, the board did approve uh, an item from UM, where UM was seeking authority seeking authority to purchase a couple of electric transit buses to serve students and faculty and staff and visitors to campus. On another item, the board approved uh, the authority for UM to sell a, a small strip of land out by Fort Missoula. You know, the university owns uh, land out there uh, west of Reserve at Fort Missoula, and uh, UM uh, would like authority to sell one-third of an acre, or approximately one-third of an acre, to the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And I cannot recall all of the details behind that proposal. You'd need to get that perhaps from Mike Reed at, at UM, but the board approved that. The board also approved uh, a request from Montana Tech to expand um, a dormitory residence life planning process uh, at Montana Tech for additional uh, architecture and planning. The board also improved, or approved a number of staff items from the campuses that included uh, the approval of the hiring of the new head football coach at MSU. Um, the board approved tenure for a couple of uh, MSU faculty members. The board approved uh, a number of collective bargaining agreements that have negotiated uh, wage and salary increases in them, including bargaining agreements for the University of Montana faculty, uh, both on the main campus and at the at Missoula College, and then the board also approved for uh, professional and administrative uh, contract uh, professionals and administrators the same, uh, basically the same wage adjustment that is in the uh, negotiated labor agreements for faculty. Was anything uh, uh, said uh, regarding the progress that the University of Montana is making in its efforts to try to, to cut budget and uh, bring everything uh, back into line with, uh, with expenditures? There was some um, discussion when the board was approving the faculty labor agreements and the uh, staff items, the, the, the same raises for contract professional and administrative employees, um, that as a system, because we have a number of campuses that have enrollment management and budget stability plans that they're striving towards, uh, you know, Montana State University Billings has, has had a sharper enrollment decline than uh, the University of Montana, for instance. So there was some discussion as to um, the uh, application of these pay raises when, when some campuses are having some budget challenges, but the prevailing uh, thought or, or view appeared to be through the approval of, of these adjustments that uh, the, the budget management and, and, and the progress that we're making towards uh, fiscal stability uh, while maintaining excellent education uh, throughout uh, that those sorts of challenges are what we pay people to uh, to, to take on and, and meet and that we should not be um, you know either going to the bargaining table with our faculty and staff unions um, proposing to, to freeze or reduce pay or, or for any other employee group.